Cryptocurrency is everywhere. Elon Musk loves it and tweets about it. Mark Cuban, being the savvy investor that he is, has some Bitcoins himself. And more celebs like Snoop Dogg, Lionel Messi, and Paris Hilton have jumped on that train. Despite it being so popular, not everyone knows what it is, how they can get some themselves, and how mining farms work. Since 2020, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and some altcoins have seen massive success. So it's about time we all learned a thing or two about where these coins are mined. So today, we're going to take a look at five of the biggest Bitcoin mines in the world. Genesis Mining Technologies One thing you'll find about these Bitcoin mining farms is that it's all about location, location, location. GM Technologies wanted to optimize their production, so they placed great importance on their facility's location, which is why they moved their operation from China and Bosnia to Finland. These plain-looking sheds in the middle of nowhere actually house one of the world's largest crypto mining farms. Inside these 400 square meter sheds are shelves and shelves of computers, whirring away creating a deafening racket as they perform complicated calculations. Hundreds of thousands of fans blast cold air to keep the machines from overheating, aided by six giant ceiling turbines that spin with the collective force of 360 washing machines. Established in 2014, this trillion dollar facility is called Enigma. What you're seeing here is the Enigma facility, which is the largest Ethereum uh, mining facility in the world. And it sits far away from scenic waterfalls and lagoons that the Nordic country is famous for. There is an abundance of underground water, which is harnessed by hydroelectric dams and geothermal power stations to produce cheap, green electricity that facilitates the energy-intensive process of confirming cryptocurrency transactions. The fact temperatures rarely go over 57 degrees Fahrenheit, or 13.9 degrees Celsius, also helps. Genesis has also created a hardware monitoring software called Genesis Hive. If a part of your mining system fails for any reason, it's not feasible to walk around the whole facility examining each computer with six CPUs each to find the one faulty wire. So the Genesis Hive helps identify and pinpoint the issue. Finland is a pretty attractive place for Bitcoin mining thanks to low electricity costs and low temperatures. It wasn't long after Bitcoin's creation in 2009 that cryptocurrency companies started moving to Finland. In 2016, giant data centers accounted for 1% of its GDP, with crypto mining accounting for 90% of that. Those centers now use more electricity than all of Iceland's homes combined and rack up bills of $1 million a month. It is now one of the trailblazing countries in cryptocurrency, with 8% of all Bitcoins being mined right right here. BitRiver, Russia BitRiver is the largest data center in the former Soviet Union, and it opened only in 2018. It has won clients from all over the world, including America, Japan, and China. BitRiver rents a building near the Bratsk aluminum plant, which was the world's largest aluminum smelter. It was built in the 1960s by the USSR, and there's a hydropower plant just over three miles away. You could say this plant turns water into cash. Powering the plant with water is already impressive, but another thing that makes BitRiver and by extension Bratsk an ideal place for crypto is the frigid Siberian climate with its long winters. The average temperature in the winters is only 3 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 16 degrees Celsius, which helps cool all the CPU power needed for mining. And low temperatures are suitable for the data center equipment in general. Billionaire Oleg Deripaska's team came up with the idea about five years ago. The N Plus Group and United Co. Rusal own the Bratsk hydropower and aluminum plants, and they provide up to 100 megawatts of power to BitRiver per year as a way to diversify its client base and sell excess energy. Cheap Cheap and stable power is a crucial requirement of crypto mining. BitRiver and N Plus also provide computer racks to crypto miners. BitRiver has roughly 20 bitcoins come in per day, making Russia one of the most powerful countries in bitcoin mining. And funnily enough, bitcoin mining is actually illegal in Russia. So the way BitRiver gets around that little problem is by hiring out their equipment at the data center and their technical services to mine, which makes the whole operation legal. The size of the mine just underlines its hash rate of 38 petahashes per second, making the hourly power consumption of this farm around 4,000 500 kilowatts, which costs them a whopping $120,000 a month. And this is actually on the low end because Bratsk has relatively low electricity cost. In March of 2021, BitRiver became responsible for about 2% of the world's Bitcoin mining. And to keep growing, they're looking to upgrade their electricity usage. Current demand exceeds 700 megawatts and is quickly approaching 1 gigawatt. They plan to keep building data centers, and in 2021, the facility in Bratsk will go from 100 to 300 megawatts of power. Another 100 megawatt data center is already under construction in the nearby Buryatia region. Bitfury, Amsterdam BitFury isn't only one of the biggest mining farms, it's also the oldest. 
Located in Amsterdam, this farm came up in 2011, when for 10,000 Bitcoin, you couldn't get more than two pizzas. Since then, Bitfury has grown substantially. The company uses several softwares for mining, so it's impossible to calculate its hash rate. Unlike the others we've seen so far, Bitfury isn't just one mine, but a collection of large facilities spread across Tokyo, London, Moscow, and Dubai. The biggest operations are controlled from Amsterdam's headquarters by the founder and CEO, Valery Vavilov, who has a net worth of over $1 billion. In addition to securing the Bitcoin blockchain, Bitfury also designs and produces innovative hardware that keeps crypto currencies and blockchains secure, including custom semiconductor chips and mobile data centers. Bitfury is also a software provider for some of the world's most cutting-edge applications through its Exonum private blockchain framework, its Crystal Blockchain Advanced Analytics platform, and its Peach Bitcoin payments portfolio. They've even diversified into music. Bitfury Surround, the company's music entertainment division, designs blockchain solutions to address challenges artists and other stakeholders face in the music industry. And they are now looking at AI. Bitfury's Artificial Intelligence Division will operate alongside its blockchain services and build on several years of research and development by the company's engineering team to build integrated product solutions at the edge, as well as cloud-to-edge enterprise solutions for corporations and governments. And speaking of solutions for corporations and governments, Bitfury was one of the many companies that donated some of its CPU-based computing power for coronavirus research. Linthal, Switzerland did you know that you can get Bitcoin at every teller machine at the Swiss National Railway? Not just that, you can also use Bitcoin here to buy cars, wine, college tuition, and basically anything else you can think of. So it makes sense that one of the world's largest mining farms would also be located here. The land of luxurious Swiss chocolate, exquisite handmade timepieces, lush mountains, and Bitcoin mines. Unlike the farm in Moscow, the Swiss farm's owner is well known and open about how his rig operates. Guido Rudolfi built this Linthal-based farm in 2016 after moving his setup from Zurich where he realized costs were too high to run there. So he chose a small European village to conduct his business. The farm is in what was once a factory, and it's one of Europe's largest farms. Still, Rudolfi keeps the capacity and revenue of his farm a secret. He still needs to solve the problem of cooling processors, but he is optimistic that it's worth mining the Bitcoin, even if there are mining issues. Bitmain China is it any surprise that the world's largest mining operation would be based in China? Bitmain is a Chinese farm headquartered in Beijing, and in 2018, it became the world's largest designer of application-specific integrated circuit chips for Bitcoin mining. That same year, they turned a profit of 742.7 million with 11 operating farms in China. But they certainly aren't limited to that location. They also operate the largest crypto mining pools worldwide with antpool.com and btc.com. Those pools together account for somewhere between 42% and 51% of Bitcoin's total mining capacity. They also support a wide range of blockchain platforms and startups. They are even expanding to Rockdale, Texas, where they are constructing a 33,000-acre, $150 million farm, which will have a power of 25 megawatts, which will grow to 300 later. With over 25,000 employees and offices in America, Canada, Russia, Switzerland, Singapore, and more, they remain the largest Bitcoin mining facility globally. We've got a video all about there on our channel, so be sure to check that out in the link below. What do you think of these mines? Do you believe locations like Finland might pull ahead of the game thanks to their use of renewable energy from mining? Let us know your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.